Ooh, moving the virgin cover. Hello everyone, welcome to Stewie's Garage. Uh, we're not working on a car today, but we're talking about some of my favorite tools to use in the garage. So yeah, let's get started. I would say first and foremost, you wanna have your pocket knife and your pocket screwdriver. This one's super nice because it's magnetic. So when you drop little things, you can pick them up. Uh, obviously, screwdriver, many uses for that, prying things open, unscrewing things, pocket knife, use it every single day, all the time. So I keep both those in my pocket. Next thing, headlights, super amazing. I use these all the time and they look kind of funny when you wear them, but man, crawling in crawl spaces and underneath cars and dashes and everything, they're amazing. So use those all the time. And they're on Amazon, I don't remember how much, but it's not a bad deal. Uh, my digital calipers, You'll see it does millimeters and inches. These are just super useful for measuring anything like drill bits or bolts or whatever. So you can know what size holes to drill or how big a part is compared to the new part, verifying things. I use these like all the time just to check things real quick. So digital calibers, super useful. Use a lot with engineering projects too. Next is the airbags. So airbags are super nice for getting in tight spaces. You slide them in the crack of whatever you're working on and then pump them up. And yeah, these are used for like breaking into cars and stuff, but also you can use them to break into dashes and I don't know, get door panels off if you need or whatever. They're just super useful. Got these on Amazon as well. But yeah, it has a little release valve and these are just super great. Next we got magnetic stick. So when you drop bolts down in a hole inside the engine bay or wherever, you can use this magnetic stick to pick them out. Now I know what you're thinking. What if the thing I dropped was like a coolant cap or something non-magnetic? Well, that's why we have the grabber stick. And this thing has a little hand on it that opens up when you push this and so you can pick things up that are non-magnetic, like the plastic portion of the screwdriver. Super useful as well for getting in tight spaces and picking things up. So I would recommend having both sticks. Also, what's good for getting in tight spaces is these little, I don't know what they're called, I think they're door panel pliers. Uh, but yeah, you just wedge that into gaps and then it'll break break things open. Similar to the airbags, but like these things are a lifesaver when it comes to door panels especially. But I've used them to like pry out clips. And again, Amazon, not expensive. Uh, one last thing is a magnetic, or not a magnetic, but a mirror stick. So sometimes you can't see, you know, down in a little hole or something, or you need to see behind a whatever, I don't know. You'll use it, it's great. And having it on a stick is super nice. It's nice to just have mirrors with you too. Oh yeah, one thing I left on my desk, tweezers. I use tweezers all the time, not only for pulling out little, um, what's it called, slivers and crap, but just I don't know, sometimes you're working on really small screws or like electronics, even wiring, and tweezers are super nice to have. It's not something you would usually think you would have in a toolbox, but tweezers are great. Oh, and lastly, you should always have kitty snacks with you in case you find a wild cat. Good kitty. But yeah, those are some tools I like to use in the shop. And I didn't have any other things to talk about. <laughs> but yeah, I hope some of these tools come in handy for you guys. They're super good for me, and I use them on a daily basis all the time for working on cars. <laughs>